Hello folks, Scott with Dallas Paint Correction and Auto Detailing here in Dallas, Texas. Look at my shadow on the car. That's pretty cool, eh? What am I, Canadian all of a sudden? I want to do a shootout. The other day I did a review on the Eagle One Etching Mag Wheel Cleaner. I thought it was very impressive. In fact, one of the reasons why I test retail products and I enjoy it is because sometimes I have customers that say to me after I detail their car, hey Scott, what do you use on my rims to make them look so great? How do you cut through brake dust really fast? Well, I tell them I use an acid-based wheel cleaner and they'll say to me, hey, can I get that on a retail level or do I have to buy a gallon? Well, what's really cool is now I have a product that I feel pretty comfortable being able to recommend to others who are not professionals but kind of want professional results. So what I'm going to do, the rear tire is going to get Meguiar's, this is like a rumble at uh, Madison Square Garden. Meguiar's wheel brightener is going to be used on the rear tire. I'm going to use the, uh, the um, Eagle One Etching Mag Wheel Cleaner, which is also acid-based, on the front wheel. I'm going to just spray them down. I am not going to agitate. Folks, my car has it. Those wheels haven't been done in about three weeks. I had somebody say to me, that's not really impressive, Scott. You're cleaning clean wheels. Well, I've been using acid-based cleaners for a very long time. I know how they respond with light brake dust, heavy brake dust, and I feel very comfortable when I see those results. And I also know that if I had hammered wheels and I did a test on it, somebody's going to say, Scott, why don't you clean your wheels more often? so hard to please everybody but there is brake dust on both of those rims they've been out they haven't been cleaned in about three weeks so that's the test we're going to do it will be fun i will give you my honest transparent thought i'm going to use my works hydro shot just to rinse off the wheel again we're not going to agitate let's see how much we get these wheels to pop and come back to life so here i go i'm going to do the mcguire's the rear tire first and then i'll do I'll do the uh, front tire with the Eagle One. This kind of be boring, but watch me go through this process. Okay, McGuire's wheel brightener. By the way, this stuff is diluted five to one. Why do I delete it? Delete it. Why do I dilute it five to one? Because it's just as effective at five to one and four to one, and I stretch my dollar. Maybe I'm a cheapskate. But there's a little tip for you. You can actually go to five to one with this stuff, and it works just as well at just as well as four to one. So here I go, spray just it down. I'm not going to agitate. I'll bring you guys in. You probably will see it on the video. But I'll get a healthy dose of this stuff on the rim. I'll try to do the same with the other one. Okay, so I've got plenty on there, right? Let me go ahead. I'll let it dwell for about, I don't know, 15, 20 seconds. Who gives a crap? I'm gonna let it dwell. I'm gonna play with my fancy new tool that I love. The works hydro spot. I'm going to rinse it with distilled water so now I don't care if I get water spots after this. Love it! Okay, here we go. As expected, even at 5 to 1, the Meguiar's wheel brightener has removed the little bit of brake dust that's on there for the last three weeks. It has dissolved. It broke it down quickly without agitating. Let's do the same with Eagle One, the retail product. Can that little bad boy, the retail level, keep up with Meguiar's? I hope it can. I think it can. I will try to spray the same amount. Some douchebag out there is going to say I didn't put enough on it. I'm teasing, guys. Okay, so I've sprayed that tire, or that rim. I always call these things tires. People say they're rims, Scott. Come on, get your act together. Well, I'm tired of looking at this stuff after 26 years. I call cars boats. I call boats planes. I get tired after a while. Okay, let it dwell there for, what do we do, 30 seconds for that side? I'll let it dwell. I will not agitate. We'll let this baby stand up against the big bad acid-based wheel cleaner that I love, the Meguiar's. Let's go in with the Works Hydro Shot. I always want to call it Hydro Spot. 
with the hydro shot and shoot it with distilled water. Let's have some fun. Okay, I'm going to be very honest with you. It did exceptionally well versus the Meguiar's wheel brightener. But if you noticed, I had to rinse it a little bit longer than the Meguiar's wheel brightener. It's not going to make or break your world, but that's just, I'm just giving you the feedback I'm having in the moment. It seemed like there was, I had to flush it more. It seems like there's more residue that's left on the wheel. So that's something you're just going to have to consider. I'll bring you guys in to take a look at this wheel. Let's look at the Meguiar's wheel brightener without agitating it, simply spraying it. Let it dwell for 30 seconds and then rinse it off with the hydro spot. Holy crap, I love it. Look at the bling. It was easier to flush off or easier to rinse. There wasn't as much, resi much residue fighting me. That's pretty cool. Let's go up here to Eagle One, the, the etching mag wheel cleaner. Look at that bad boy. She looks nice and shiny, no agitation. Broke through the three weeks of dust and gave us some really nice optical brightness on that rim. Acid-based cleaners seem to do that. I like that, especially on chrome. It did take me a little bit longer to rinse it. It wanted to hang around a little bit. So that's just something to consider, but I don't think it's gonna, it shouldn't stop you from buying this product. It is exceptional as a wheel cleaner, as an acid-based wheel cleaner. Here's the other wheel with the Meguiar's. I'll try to get out of the way so we've got some sun there. Looks amazing, looks great. I love them both. I think on a retail level, if you're looking for a great product and you don't wanna buy that bad boy by the gallon, which by the way, would be the most economical one to choose, but maybe you don't wanna buy products that way. You're just gonna have it sit on the shelf for too long. And by the way, products that come in a gallon, they do have a shelf life. I'm going to go into that in the future. They don't last forever, folks, even in the original bottle. You don't, you've got to be careful how you store them. But here's a bad boy right there. The Eagle One Etching Mag Wheel Cleaner on a retail level. Holy crap, it stood up against the cleaner I love so much. The Meguiar's Wheel Brightener I have used for years. Now I've got a cleaner that I can recommend to my customers so they get amazing results with very little agitation, no more aggravation, no more pushing some type of chemical on there and waiting three to five minutes for it to react and slowly break down the brake dust. I know folks, those cleaners are a little bit more environmentally friendly, I get it, but they're not always the most effective, the most efficient. Now I can tell, even if you're a professional detailer, what would happen if you said, holy crap, I got three details tomorrow, I ran out of Meguiar's wheel brightener and I love it, and I'm not gonna get my UPS shipment for another two days. Well, I tell you what, you can run to the store and buy that bad boy, even on a professional level. Maybe you wanna take it out of the bottle so you're not embarrassed to use it in front of your customer. I don't know why. But you can use that if you had to, if you got into a bind and you ran out of Meguiar's wheel brightener. Another reason why I always try to test retail products. One, I want to be able to be, so I want to sound educated and somewhat bright, even though I'm probably a moron to some of you. I want to be able to help my customers know what's going on on a retail level, and I want to know as well. After all, I call myself a professional, right? Ha! Huh. Well, that's how it goes. And there's my little works, hydro shot with my five gallon bucket, use very little bit of water. By the way, that hose is 20 feet long. I can work around this car pretty quickly. Works really well, I love it. I just wanted to share this quick video with you. Nothing's quick with me, but it's nine minutes. Holy crap, not that bad. I love you all, we'll talk to you soon. Be safe, love one another, and we'll see you on the next video.